In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Adorable Will, I want to pray these titles, but I am unable to do it. Come and do it with me, and I'll do everything well. Jesus and Mary, I glorify you and I praise you, one with Louisa, who can be called act of the divine will. Louisa, who comes to acquire the right over all the acts of the divine will. Louisa, who takes her place in the Supreme Being's army. Louisa, legitimate daughter and as though a sister to all the acts of God's will with the power to unite them together, to bring the triune God the glory, the happiness of all the acts of the eternal fiat. Louisa, an act of the divine will, who is a son. Louisa, an act of the divine will, who is a heaven. Louisa, an act of the divine will, who is a sea of eternal love. Louisa, an act of the divine will, who is a beatitude and happiness that never ends. Louisa, one who has the wideness, the capacity to be able to enclose all the acts of God within herself. Louisa, the depository of the divine will. Louisa, one in who God finds the whole of himself with all his acts. Louisa, one in who everything is sacred, holy, light, and beauty. Louisa, one who possesses perfect balance, divine order, and in whom Jesus finds the glory of his sanctity, light, and rare beauty. Louisa, one in who Jesus finds his reflections, his dearest image created by him, as wanted by him. Louisa, how beautiful she is. The divine will has enclosed everything in her. Louisa, the creation is a pale image of her. Louisa, more refulgent than the sun. Louisa, more adorned than the heavens. Louisa, more graceful than the flowery fields. Louisa, all beautiful because the power of the divine volition invests her nourishes her, is her life. Louisa, whose interior of soul, Jesus does his crafting. Louisa, whose every heartbeat, affection, word, thought, Jesus watches over to let the divine will flow in the whole of her, dominating and forming its kingdom. Louisa, in who Jesus feels the happiness of his eternal rest and the joy and happiness of the triune God's works. 
Louisa, whose love hovers around within Jesus' will. Louisa, whose love rises between heaven and earth and invests all created things. Louisa, whose love breaches into heaven. Louisa, who gives Jesus the new possession of the love of the creature, who lets herself be invested by the power of his supreme fiat. Louisa, who prepares for Jesus the possession of glory. Louisa, always new in the love she gives Jesus. Louisa, always new in the glory she gives Jesus. Louisa, always new in the adoration she gives Jesus. Louisa, destined to give Jesus from the earth the new act of joys and of unspeakable contentments that he gives to all the blessed in heaven. Louisa, who the divine will renders light and capable of any sacrifice. Louisa, whose soul the divine will gives the first qualities of the celestial fatherland. Louisa, who is always son. Louisa, who cannot escape from the eternal rays of the sun of the divine will that invades her soul. Louisa, in who the divine will has its triumph. Louisa, poor daughter. Jesus and Mary, I praise you and I thank you, one with Louisa, in who the divine will works in order to lay its kingdom in her. Louisa, in who the divine will places its incessant motion in attitude and repeats it continuously within her. Louisa, the divine will does in her what it does within itself of its own nature. Louisa, the one who possesses the echo of divine will with incessant motion. Louisa, whose acts are inexhaustible and all can take the good of them because they come from the spring of the eternal fiat. Louisa, the soul whose interior acts are free from any evil and shadow of defect. Louisa, who God looks at, points at, speaks to the whole of heaven and the earth of the great importance of her interior work. Louisa, simple virgin, all interior, who will say much and pray God to concede the longed for kingdom. Louisa, whose acts are all impregnated with celestial air. Louisa, Jesus' queen. Louisa, who serves her king faithfully and in an admirable way. Louisa, Jesus' queen whose first act is love and in all of her acts, she gives Jesus her life. Louisa, in who Jesus feels his life. 
Louisa, who Jesus invested with extraordinary grace, which is firmness of good and incessant act. Louisa, the soul who becomes all of God. Louisa, who is Son. Louisa, in whose soul the divine will beats and gives its incessant motion. Louisa, in whose soul the divine will beats and gives its strength that is never exhausted. Louisa, in whose soul the divine will beats and gives its inextinguishable light. Louisa, who Jesus gives his heartbeat to. Louisa, who Jesus keeps always together with him. Louisa, who Jesus teaches his divine ways. Louisa, who Jesus communicates his secrets and his strength to. Louisa, who Jesus flings into the field of the life of his will, so she takes on the commitment of the whole human family. Louisa, who Jesus entrusts everything to. Louisa, with her, Jesus needs no words to make himself understood, but only to look at her. Louisa, Jesus's poor daughter, Jesus's poor daughter. Louisa, little daughter of Jesus's will, who visits all his territories and enters all his apartments. Louisa, who Jesus gives all the goods in his territories and apartments, and all that he should give to others, he centralizes in her. Louisa, who possesses everything and gives Jesus everything. Louisa, who receives the life of light and of heat from her creator. Louisa, who forms the heat of her creator and multiplies it. Louisa, who possesses the source of the life of lights and whose being spreads rays of vivifying light. Louisa, who places the bonds of memory, intellect, will, in attitude and receives the attitude of the divine life. Louisa, preserved as fecund earth, full of vital and divine humors that flow within her. Louisa, the beloved. Louisa, the one who is sought for by heaven and earth. Louisa, whose life works words more than fruits are enjoyable for all. Jesus and Mary, I thank you and I esteem you, one with Louisa, in whom God himself takes pleasure in enjoying fruits so precious. Louisa, bound to Jesus with so many bonds. 
Louisa, poor daughter. Louisa, whose interior is a continuous speaking before the Divine Majesty. Louisa, whose interior is a continuous act. Louisa, whose unceasing speaking before God brings the victory of the kingdom of the divine will. Louisa, whose continuous doing in speaking acquires the winning strength. Louisa, who seeks nothing for herself and goes around and around asking the divine will to be known and that it dominate and reign. Louisa, Jesus's little daughter. Louisa, the soul who possesses the unity of the divine will. Louisa, the soul who is inseparable from the acts that the unity of the divine will issues. Louisa, the soul bound to God in the unity of divine will, who gives him the glory of the divine operating. Louisa, the soul bound to the angels and saints in the unity of divine will, who gives God the angelic glory and that of the saints. Louisa, the soul bound to all creation, who gives God the glory in everything in which his will operates. Louisa, the soul inseparable from the unity of the divine will informs her unity with it. Louisa, the one who can give Jesus the love, the glory of all creation and all redemption. Louisa, who acquires universal rights in everything she does, and everything becomes the property of all. Louisa, who gives glory and honor to Jesus as she lays her acts within the universal properties of God. Louisa, who, more than sun, invests all, and with her light, goes around all, to feed them her light, her acts, her love. Louisa, little daughter of Jesus' will, Louisa, the Queen Mama's little daughter. Louisa, whose power of prayer, of acts, of pains suffered in the divine will are unreachable. Louisa, Jesus' daughter, who he hides his humanity within. Louisa, in who Jesus gives place in large field to his divine will, to let it operate freely and to let it form its kingdom. Louisa, who Jesus' humanity was always with and by. Louisa, inseparable from Jesus. Louisa, in who Jesus delights binding her soul like a tiny little bird with the thread of light of his will. Louisa, who Jesus makes fly in the immensity of his will, flinging her into its innumerable acts. 
Louisa, who Jesus formed his image in. Louisa, who lives together with Jesus within the eclipse formed by the light of an eternal will. Louisa, whose relations pass between her and Jesus like the relations that pass between the branches and the vine. Louisa, the branch to Jesus' vine. Louisa, whose relations with Jesus are inseparable. Louisa, one is the blood that circulates in her and Jesus' veins. One the will, one the heartbeat. Louisa, whose life Jesus forms, and she forms his glory and his fruit. Louisa, who Jesus delights in resting in the thick leaves of her branch and in picking the grapes of his vine. Louisa, daughter who the divine will is in as the depository of all its acts. Jesus and Mary, I esteem you and I honor you, one with Louisa, who all the acts of the divine will are in, and from her they come out, bringing with them the glory that is due them. Louisa, the creature who gives glory to the divine will's light. Louisa, the creature who gives glory to the divine will's sanctity. Louisa, the creature who gives glory to the divine will's immensity. Louisa, for who the divine will feels drawn to form more beautiful acts only for love of her. Louisa, whose love and acts are acts of justice and are necessary for the conception of the divine will in the humanity of Jesus. Louisa, who does nothing but give the divine will its rights to have it conceive in her. Louisa, who does nothing but give the divine will its rights for her to receive the rights to have it lay its kingdom and take in hand the scepter of command with absolute dominion. Louisa, who Jesus takes by the hand into the act in which he was conceived in the maternal womb to let her place her love, her pains. Louisa, whose love Jesus calls to bind itself to the acts he did while on earth. Louisa, one who contains the divine volition's acts. Louisa, creature raised to the divine sanctity and nobility that gives her the likeness of her creator. Louisa, the soul who suffers the martyrdom of Jesus' privation. Louisa, the soul who offers the most beautiful act in her martyrdom and whose light extends so much that no one can reach her. Louisa, light is her soul, and with Jesus' light and the light of the divine will, they form an enchantment of light 
that invests heaven in earth. Louisa, the little daughter of Jesus' will that makes the water speak her loving refrains to her Creator. Louisa, little daughter of the Supreme Will, who emits her voice in the Divine Will and renders the sea speaking, giving the glory of the sea to her Creator. Louisa, the little daughter of the Supreme Will, who makes her will one with creation and administers her voice and her act to all created things. Louisa, who in communicating her voice to creation, gives the greatest glory she can give to her Creator. Louisa, every created thing is invested by her acts. Louisa, who remains bound to her creator through each created thing and receives the relations of light, love, power, etc. that each one possesses. Louisa, who belongs to the body of the whole creation, and with great love they bind her to themselves. Louisa, the soul who operates in God himself and whose acts remain in him. Louisa, the soul who the Supreme Being extends the endless sea of his being around. Louisa, the soul who the triune God lowers themselves to, forming a circle around her to let her operate within them. Louisa, who rises up to the triune God and whose acts take their place together with their acts, delighting in glorifying them. Louisa, who the divine will wanted to form its kingdom in. Louisa, the first repairer and consoler of a will so holy. Louisa, one who can penetrate into the Divine Will's acts and recognize its sorrows. Louisa, one who is defender and consoler of the Divine Will. Louisa, who takes within herself the acts of the Divine Will rejected by creatures. Louisa, daughter who in asking for the kingdom of the divine fiat in each created thing, places all the offices of the acts of the supreme volition in exercise around the divine being. Louisa, who makes the divine beings goodness, power, justice, and mercy, love, and wisdom, ask for the kingdom of their will. Louisa, little daughter of the eternal volition. Louisa, little daughter of all the acts of divine will, who with so much love moves those acts to ask for what they all want. Louisa, little daughter of the triune God's will, to whom it is given to penetrate everywhere. Louisa, 
to who the great mission of making known, the kingdom of the supreme fiat, was entrusted. Louisa, who cannot go out from within the great sea of Jesus' will. Jesus and Mary, I honor you and I cherish you, one with Louisa, Jesus' little daughter. Louisa, in who the glory was deposited that her creator awaited. Louisa, who lives in the divine will and possesses it. Louisa, who possesses all the seeds of each glory that each created thing possesses. Louisa, who releases from herself the glory that her creator awaits with so much love. Louisa, the soul that such harmony, order, love, enchantment of beauty passes between her and all things created by Jesus. Louisa, so bound to all created things as to seem inseparable. Louisa, the soul who lives in full daylight. Louisa, whose acts, thoughts, words are nothing but the reflection of the divine will. Louisa, the soul in whom the sun of the divine will is reflected in more than in a crystal. Louisa, there is nothing greater or more beautiful than the soul who lives in the reflections of the sun of the divine will. Louisa, the soul who is kept in communion with the acts of her creator. Louisa, the soul who is in possession of the very goods of her creator. Louisa, whose capacity Jesus expands and places his acts. Louisa, who Jesus calls to work together with him in his kingdom. Louisa, who will work by moving heaven and earth with her acts done in the divine volition. Louisa, whose echo is incessant that she makes resound in all creation. Louisa, who asks for the kingdom of the divine fiat with her continuous acts, her pains, and her life to impetrate a good so great. Louisa, poor little daughter of Jesus. Louisa, a little child. Louisa, Jesus' poor little one. Louisa, Jesus' tiny little child who he will never leave. Louisa, in who Jesus has his will, there are his acts, his properties. Louisa, daughter who gives Jesus rest in the light, sanctity, joys of the divine will that he finds in her. 
Louisa, Jesus' daughter, firstborn daughter of his will. Louisa, daughter of Jesus' will. Louisa, one who enters into such bonds and rights with God. Louisa, the soul who embraces the whole of the divine being. Louisa, the soul who is in the divine will, like the eye before the sun, that remains filled with its light. Louisa, the soul in whom the divine will fills with such fullness as to leave no empty space within her. Louisa, creature who lets herself be invested by the light of the divine will and does not refuse its dominion and its kingdom. Louisa, one alone who is worth more than everything and everyone. Louisa, one alone who can earn and ipitrate what all others together cannot earn or obtain. Louisa, one who is more than sun, who penetrates everywhere, into God, into his acts. Louisa, one who rules over God himself and over creatures. Louisa, one who is capable of overwhelming everything to hold out the life of the light she possesses to all. Louisa, bearer of her creator. Louisa, who lets the light walk ahead of her to impetrate, obtain, and give whatever she wants. Jesus and Mary, I cherish you and I love you, one with Louisa, who lends herself to God as matter to let him operate great things. Louisa, one whose words, works, pains are like veils that hide the Creator. Louisa, creature who no one can compare to, in who the divine will lives, reigns, and dominates. Louisa, one who possesses the life and the creative virtue. Louisa, one whose littlest acts contain a divine and immeasurable value, and no one can equal her riches. Louisa, who forms her acts within Jesus' interminable goods of light, sanctity, love, happiness without end. Louisa, one whose acts are transformed into sons. Louisa, whose whole commitment was to follow the first acts of creation and to take her workplace near the last son or act that Adam did when he possessed the unity of the divine will with his creator. Louisa, who must make up for what Adam did not continue doing. Louisa, who must make up for all other creatures who have not possessed the unity of the divine will.
You have reached the end of the titles for Day 20. Fiat.